Those guys are jealous. Ah, on the boat. Decent smally. Sweet. Not a bad one. 17. Go check quick. Around 17. Cool. First few casts. Wow, that jig just fell right out of his mouth. It wasn't even like, that might be a 16 and a half or 16, I don't know. Right around there though, but he's a little thick. Probably 16, I'm getting a little excited. Yeah, 16.2. Cool, not bad smallie at all. A little bit thick. A little bit, not really actually, but not not skinny. Got a little bit of a gut started. Well, let him go here. Awesome. That is fantastic. I kind of had low standard, or I don't know what low standards, but I didn't expect much tonight. That's what I meant to say. So, we're already doing better than I thought I would. Sweet. Just because I already hit this last night pretty good. Oh, there you go, buddy. Let's do it again. Oh, that was a tick. There's another one down there. He hit it. There he is. Oh. He jumped and I lifted him up before he could fall back in the water. That's amazing. That's why I have to keep the camera on or else that one second delay, you know, you never catch stuff like that. Little guy around 12. Just measure him because it's right here. Why not? Making sure I'm guessing these little guys right. Yep, dead on 12. This and this, this fish and that last one I got in this jig. It's a uh, redhead but the paints wore off and it's a root beer color clear body with an extra soft wiggly plastic tail so it's you know it's just a one eighth ounce curly tail jig sweet another smallie two casts in a row not looking too bad probably not gonna get too much out of here so i only got a few hits here last night and floods long over usually this place gets stacked up with smallies right after a flood so might be another fish, who knows. Alright, maybe a walleye or something around dark or a rock bass. That felt like a tick. There he is. I knew I felt it. He hit it twice. Second time I got him. Another little smallie. Awesome. Right around the same size as the last one. Yep, almost, almost exactly the same size as the last one, probably. Cool. Little guys. Sweet. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Oh. Let them go here quick. Get on to the next fish if there is another one. Awesome. Real subtle pulses. Controlled pulses. Ooh, that was something I think. Just tapping it. Huge cold front coming through, and I feel little taps, and that could be a really big fish tapping it though. Just 
you know, doing what big fish do some of the time, control themselves. There he is. Oh, there he goes. Shoot, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that was weird. Jig gal twisted around the line and stuff. He was a little bigger than the small ones. He was like 13, 13 and a half, I'd guess. That was something hitting it, I think. Felt like it to me. Oh! There's a small one. Surprise! <laughs> Didn't expect that at all. That was a pot shot cast. That's not a bad smallie at all. And then that brown and white bucktail jig. Ooh, nice one. That looks like a skinny, solid 17. Should go measure him quick and then release him. <sighs> Might be a 16 and a half, I don't know. That's a nice fish. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That water right there is probably a foot deep. It's really shallow, but I figured if I cast it diagonally out under the bridge, it would, it would that jig would work along that gradient. Let me get him unhooked here as I walk him over. That'd be a smart idea. So I can release him as quick as I can. I'll show you the jig here. I need a little bit. I need to get my forceps out anyway. I'm glad I brought him over here. See, he's hooked pretty good. Definitely at least 16. Oh yeah, 17 point, 17 point one or two. Nice smallie. Wow. <laughs> oh baby, solid fish. That was something, I've never caught him like that over there, but I had a feeling. So, you know, usually when I have a feeling, I experiment a little bit and try it out. Let's see, the heck are those things? I know there's somewhere in there. There they are. These There we go, there's the jig. Brown and white bucktail. Awesome, gorgeous fish. All right, get over here and let him go. It's bleeding a little bit, but I hooked him in like the, the tongue kinda, it was weird. But he's good to go, sweet. Move it ever so slightly. Crawl it like a crayfish. This jig. Maybe that'll get something moving. There's one. I thought so. Oh wow, it's a huge rock bass again. Are you kidding me? It's the third huge one I've gotten off this wall in the last couple months. I wonder if that's the same one three times in a row. <laughs> That's so funny, and the jig fell right out of his mouth, right as I was. Oh man, that's so funny. I don't know how big he is, but it looks like he was around the same size. That's a huge rock bass. I've gotten two 11 and a halfs on this wall, if you haven't watched the other episodes at night. This one isn't the same one, though. This one's an 11. There's just a lot of big rock bass around here. Chunky 11-incher. Real tall back on him. 
might be a pound 14 ounces I'd say at least that's a nice rock bass heck yeah I love big panfish so much I usually focus on smallmouth and walleye and I mean I do trips for every other type of fish too but but I have just as much as smallmouth and walleye I really love big big chunky really long panfish beautiful rock bass all right see you buddy working it real slow crawling this jig basically that might have been a hit I'm going like on an uphill gradient on this jig though so it could be rocks too it's hard to tell I'm digging it into any rocks you know so I'm working it so slow I think it might have been a hit though feeling yep I had a feeling oh you gotta be kidding me another big rock bass wow that's the first time I've caught two big ones in one night off the wall you know big being like a 10 plus that's definitely a 10 plus 10 and a half I would guess that's awesome wow I'm in heaven I didn't expect this night to be this good I felt him he was hitting it just really really lightly it's about 50 degrees out it's gonna get down to like 37 tonight or something it's supposed to get really cold for being the 5th of September okay he's just a 10 I thought it was like a 10 and a half or so but still 10 inch rock bass is a solid rock bass keep getting them on that brown and white bucktail jig the water's stained and I don't even know if they can see this they can, might be able to see the silhouette or something but I can definitely feel the tiny little taps I'm just crawling it like a crayfish at this point before I was twitching it like a, a minnow you know all right let him go quick Let's see if we can nail another one before dark oh. all righty here you go buddy beautiful fish there's a rock bass. Feel him wiggling. All alone. Just a little guy. He inhaled it so I can take my time. Six, seven inch or maybe six and a half. I don't know. Somewhere around there. Inhaled that curly tail jig. Just twitching it. Probably just drop this guy back into the water over here gently there we go awesome 